It's time to build one of my tiny Pico Nano Rev1 boards. You can see it there, it's a Rev1. So this is a tiny Pico that has everything on it except for the APA 102. There's no RGB LED on here and there's no USB connector. But there is all the USB peripherals. So this can be put on a board that has any USB connector on it and can be flashed. It's a full microcontroller. It's using the Fractus antenna and RAM is on the top. So it's a single sided board that is a pad for just some heat transfer to help cool down the Pico D4. And it's a 0.8 millimeter board. I've not built a board or made a board this thin before. So that's pretty cool. Castellated edges, obviously. Let's build it, shall we? I've 3D printed myself a base for stenciling. So because the Nano is 0.8 millimeters thin, I needed something that could hold the Nano in place. My Tiny Pico is a one mil, so that would have been too high. So a nice base here in orange, just zoom in a bit. And then of course, I need to place the stencil down and it came a little bit bent from JLC PCB, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to line that up. A little bit hard to see if I get a bit closer for you. Quite in the center of the camera view, sorry. I have to line that up probably under the microscope a bit better. But let's get some tape just to hold it down. Okay, so now I can lift the stencil. Assuming I can grab the edge of it, lift it up and down to stencil the board. I'm going to now put some cool music on and assemble this board. Hope you enjoy the montage.
And here they are out of the oven. Just need to cool down a bit. I need to check them under the microscope, but they look pretty good. Probably get them off here now. Nice. You may have noticed that I didn't put the full matching network on. I've just put the zero ohm resistor just to bridge the network. The layout I've got here is pretty unorthodox. The matching network is going all the way over to here as the entry point. So it might become a bit of a challenge to match the network for it. We'll see. That'll be a job for my RF guy. But uh, overall it looks pretty good. So you can see the Pico D4, got the CP2104, there's the RAM on top. This is the twin transistor for the auto programming. I've got the battery charge IC over here. 10 microfarad cap for the battery, 10 microfarad cap for the 5 volts coming in. The LDO, the 1 microfarad caps. PNP transistor over here for the battery switching to detect if 5 volts is there or not. So there are the two boards made. They're pretty cool. I'm quite happy with the way that looks. The question is, does it work? Well. We'll find out soon. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the alarm bell to be notified when I've got new videos coming out. Don't forget to smash that like button. To all my patrons, once again, thank you. You're fantastic. I really appreciate all of your generosity. And stay tuned for seeing this on one of these, which is the breakout board for it. Because that will be next. That's how I'm going to check that they work. Catch you later. Bye.